What's good? What's good? What's good? <clears throat> Mr. Fisher, how you doing? Say, man, this might be my last Facebook post, man, because after this, they're going to go on and throw me off of Facebook for real, man, because I'm about to say some real shit. And we all know, anytime you say real shit on Facebook, you get banned. Ken Falk, what it do? Christopher Reynolds, what it do? Tracy, what it do? Big Go, what it do? All right, I'm at my, tw uh, I was at 25. I think I done lost some people. Hey, man. <laughs> Ja Ja, I love you. I see that new thing you got too. All right, let me get into this shit. Check this out. It's some bullshit that's going on on the set right now. Called it used to be called Dick Riding, but now they done took it to a whole nother level. It went from Dick Riding to man crushing into you know uh, thought dreams and all kind of shit. Let me tell you, motherfucker, something. If you can't stand up for yourself at all, if you can't stand up for yourself, if you can't make your own motherfucking decisions, have your own opinion, have your own way how you feel about a motherfucker based on how he treated you, if you can't do that, use a bitch. Yeah. If you if you if, if another nigga can tell you how to feel about another nigga and this nigga ain't done nothing then this person and I, and I, and I, I ain't trying to use the n-word because I want I want this message to go out I want this to be a universal message to the entire world all races so I'm going to try to take the n-word out of it but y'all got me hot as fish grease this morning man let me calm down okay if a person can come to you and tell you, man, don't fuck with sale, man, fuck sale. Uh, sell ain't shit, and this and this and that. And you can take that and form any kind of opinion or, or feel any kind of way about sale, and you ain't never even talked to sale, or sale ain't never done nothing to you wrong, or sale ain't never did shit to you, you was a bitch. You got a man crush on whoever the fuck you got the information from. Because you value the information more than your own. The shit that's going on on this motorcycle set right now, man, is some way out shit, man. This shit is some way out shit. I'm telling you, man. If if you can, <laughs> well, I'm trying. I'm trying to be calm with this shit. I really am. I really want to just. If you can, and it, and it's got to do with anything in life. If a motherfucker can tell you, oh man, I don't like the new business. Oh, for real? Yeah, I don't like them motherfuckers either. Nigga, you ain't even nowhere near buying a Benz, nigga. Your pocketbook can't even a motherfucking afford a Benz, nigga. Use a hating ass nigga. Use a bitch. Period. Now, if you say, man, I don't like the Benz, man. I went and said, said it one or I looked at it. I don't like the way the body style look. And that's your opinion? Then you're entitled to say that. Whether you can afford one or not. But if another nigga tell you he don't like it and you agree with him that you don't like it, nigga, listen, let me tell you something, man. Listen, what you need to do, see, and I'm and I'm gonna tell you like this, man, and I heard this from one of my partners, you know what I'm saying? A nigga say, <laughs> so a reason why a lot of niggas don't reach out and shake your hand when they see you, because they're holding another nigga nuts. So they can't, they can't, they, they would have to drop the nigga nuts in order to reach out and shake your hand. So they, they can't shake your hand because their hands is full of another nigga nuts. Mm. I said, oh, so that's why people don't shake my hand, man. They will say the reason why they can't speak to you or the reason why they can't smile at you because they got their mouth full of somebody else's dick. Yeah, they got their homeboy dick in their mouth. You feel what I'm saying? Uh... And that's why they can't speak to you because they got their homeboy dick in their mouth. You, you feel what I'm saying? So from now on, from, from this day forward, when you don't speak to me um, or you don't reach out to shake my hand and I'm a good nigga, I'm a good nigga. I don't give a fuck what you ask. Ask everybody that's on this motherfucking feed him I'm a good nigga. Oh, I'm a good nigga, man. I might not be a good nigga to you because you's a fucked up nigga. 
but I'm a good nigga. I'm to to. I'm I'm just gonna if a thousand motherfuckers know me, I'm a good nigga to 998 of them motherfuckers. So the two that I the two the, to the two niggas that I ain't a good nigga to, hey man, I got good eyes, man. I got good eyes. I got good, damn good eyes. So this is my new thing, man. From now on, when you see Shell and you don't reach out to shake his hand, you can't shake my hand because you got your hands full of another nigga nuts. And when you see me and you don't speak to me. And I have not done anything to you, and you don't speak to me. I know you can't speak to me because you got the nigga dick in your mouth. You got the whole thing in your mouth. That's why you can't, you can't talk because you got a nigga whole dick in your mouth. So that's what it is, man. That's the news. And my partner just told me that this weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? My partner just told me that this weekend. Say, why, why you think these niggas don't want to speak to you, man? Why you think these niggas don't want to speak to you? Why you think these niggas... Can't, when they see you, they don't speak to you. Why do you think these niggas don't reach out and shake your hand, man, for for just doing what you're doing, for being who you are? They can't shake your hand, nigga, because they got another nigga nuts in their hand. They can't, they got to They would have to set the other nigga nuts down, you know, somewhere nice and gentle, because they don't want to fuck the nigga nuts up. They, gotta, you know, what I'm saying they gotta, you know, make sure they set them on some cotton or something, and then they would have to shake your wipe their hands off because you don't want to shake a nigga hand that you know you had a handful of nuts. They would have to find something to wipe their hands off and then shake your hand. And then go back to grabbing that nigga nuts, man. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's what they would have to do. And that, a nigga don't speak to you, so when a nigga see you, and he don't speak to you, you feel what I'm saying? And not that a nigga owe me nothing, man. Not that a nigga owe me nothing, but man, I, I've, I've spoken to several motherfuckers on several different occasions who didn't even speak to me. So when a nigga don't speak to me, now I understand why. You can't speak because you got a whole dick in your mouth. Period. Yeah, you got a whole other nigga dick in your mouth. And, and I ain't got a problem, like I said, Jaja. Yeah, I, I, but I'm saying, I'll speak to you, Jaja. Let me tell you something. I hear what you're saying. But nigga, Jaja, when you, whenever you see me, I ain't never got to speak to Jaja first. Nigga, we going to break each other's. Nigga, we going to break each other's. Get out and speak to each other. Because that's what real niggas do. When I see Jaja... And Josh, we trying to speak to each other. It ain't a matter of who speak first, nigga. We gonna speak. And another thing, quit letting, quit letting the past of a nigga that. Okay, for example, let me let me, let me say it like this. Okay, you brand new to the MC. Okay, you go out, you join a motorcycle club. Okay, and. When you join the club, you know, you you trying to fit in, so you you know, you doing your thing, you you jumping in circles. You feel what I'm saying? And you get in a circle and you get you you decide to get into the, the, the cool popular circle. Okay, and in the cool popular circle, it's always a motherfucker, you know, that's that that's cheerleading like a motherfucker, that's always, you know, rah rah rah. You feel what I'm saying? That's always doing what he do. So you you wanna be in that circle, because that circle seem like the coolest, it's the loudest. You feel what I'm saying the whole nine yards. But when you join, when you get in that circle, when you join in that circle, that nigga tell you, or the, the leader of that circle tell you, hey man, we don't fuck with this nigga. We don't fuck with that nigga. We don't fuck with this nigga. And you say, okay, oh, okay, okay, coach. Okay, coach. Okay, coach. And then you might even have a, you might even, you know, try to be a little bit of a man. You know what I'm saying? You might be try, you might try to be a little bit of a man and say, uh, well, why not? Ah, man, we just don't fuck with that nigga. We just don't fuck with him. But the nigga don't give you no real excuse. The nigga don't give you no real excuse. He ain't, the nigga don't give you nothing that's pertinent to where you would make that kind of judgment, that, that kind of judgment on a person. And you accept that. You accept the fact that we say, hey, man, why y'all don't fuck with Seb? Ah, man, we just don't fuck with that nigga. That nigga slimy. Oh, okay, well, what'd he do? Ah, man, don't even worry about that. We just don't fuck with him. Oh, okay. And, and that's good with you? Use a bitch. Yeah, use a bitch. Because can't now nigga tell me about now one of y'all on here. Only you can tell me about you. Every one of y'all got action at my friendship. Everyone got, every one of y'all got action at my love. You cancel our friendship. You cancel our love. Not another motherfucker. No, no, sir. Can't okay, just not going to be able to do it. No, another motherfucker is not gonna cancel my love for you. You know what I'm saying? 
Another motherfucker cannot cancel my love for you. They just can't do it. Now, another motherfucker can't tell me how I'm supposed to feel about all of y'all on here. They just can't do it. They can even give me a story about what you did to them. But I already know that that's your story. So in your story, they part gonna be fucked up and your part gonna be good. Now, if I'm a nosy motherfucker and I really wanna know, say, man, what you do to sell, man? Sell told me you did this, this, and this, and this. If I just wanna know. But really, I'm not gonna give a fuck because until you do something to me, I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. But a lot of you niggas, listen, man. Set, listen. At least, listen, at least keep one hand free. I mean, I don't mind you holding the nigga nuts. But at least hold just one. Don't hold the nigga nuts with both hands. Because you got to at least leave one hand available to shake another nigga hand. You know, a real nigga hand, man, or something. You, you feel what I'm saying? It ain't about what happened. This ain't got shit. This, this is just life. It's just a lot of bullshit going on. I can't say it on the radio station. So I and I got to and like I got I already know my Facebook live gonna be gone because y'all gonna call the nigga and y'all gonna call him and tell him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he on that bullshit again. He's speaking some truth because this one, this is one thing I want y'all. This is one thing I want to do. The minute I start lying, please call Facebook and shut me down. But as long as I'm telling the truth, let me be. See the problem with uh, the problem with a lot of you motherfuckers is the truth is so much. The definition of you, that it, it hurts you. When a nigga get to tell the truth, damn, that sound like me. Ooh, is he talking about me? Damn, that's me. Hey man, fuck that. He can't keep saying that. He can't. Nigga, I ain't even talking about you. But if it, but if it's close to you, then maybe you need to do some motherfucking uh, uh, switching up on your some of your get down. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you need to start switching up behind the fuck you. You do shit because understand this. For all of you niggas that don't fuck with me, for all for all ten of you motherfuckers, if it's ten of y'all, twenty of y'all, thirty of y'all, where, however the fuck many of y'all it is, it's that many times a thousand that do fuck with me and love me. Period. Let me tell y'all some more shit on this motorcycle set. We as individuals have to get better. You, you feel what I'm saying? We as individuals have to get better with the way that we want shit to be. The set runs the set. Don't know one person, no one club, no one entity, no one uh, MC, or don't know. The set runs the set, man. And if you in a club that another motherfucker can call you and tell you, hey man, this motherfucker did something to me and I don't like this motherfucker and I want him out your club. Nigga, if you don't get the fuck off my phone calling me, telling me about one of what you go, what you want me to do to one of my club brothers or club sisters or whoever the fuck it is, man, get the fuck off my phone. Let me let me tell y'all something. And this Facebook shit. If a motherfucker is not running the club's Facebook page, if 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 I'm not running the club's Facebook page, then whatever in the fuck I say. Is whatever is whatever in the fuck I say is how the fuck I feel. Y'all gotta stop this shit about where you represent the whole. No, I don't, nigga. I represent me, myself, and motherfucking I. If I got on this motherfucker and said fuck everybody on this motherfucker, the club didn't say that. I said that. I, nigga, me, I said. But the, the top of this Facebook page say Marcel Tillman. That's when the fuck said it. That's when the fuck said it. Trust me. Nigga, the club didn't say it. Nigga, I said it. Now, if I'm on the club, if you're in charge of the club page, if you're in charge of the club page, and you put some shit on there on the club page, then the club said it. But quit judging a motherfucker based off what they said, and you trying to make it a club thing because you want to make it bigger than you. You want to make it bigger than what it is, or you or you, you mad about what was said. But you you the only one mad, but now you want the club to be mad at man, you don't knock that shit off, man. Whatever in the fuck Don Ray put on his page is whatever in the fuck Don Ray feel. How, whatever in the fuck I put on my page, you, you feel what I'm saying? It, it's what, how the fuck I feel. Been yeah, since the beginning, fuck all of them. Yeah. With no mind. Hey, again, my man Michael Corleone, I love you, homie. Big shout out to you. I'm just saying, man, right now I'm tired as a motherfucker, man. I'm tired. Man, I damn didn't want to cry. I'm so tired of you motherfuckers, man, for real. 
And I know my Facebook page ain't gonna be up that much longer. It's cool. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm gonna still do me. I'm gonna still chase this dream. I'm gonna still chase this paper. I'm gonna still chase all the shit that I'm chasing. And I'm gonna still be the realest nigga, one of the realest niggas out there. I'm still gonna be that. Period. Period. Point motherfucking blank. So, like me or love me, I don't give a fuck. And, I, and, I, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm kind of mad that I'm in this. Ayana, listen, baby, you need to pray for me and get your ass off this post. This is not a post for my preacher friend, for my, for my deaconess, for my sister in faith. This ain't a post for you. You, you feel what I'm saying? So let me, let me tell y'all something. Whatever in the fuck I say on my page is what the fuck I said. And as always that I do on my radio show, my disclaimer, if I don't say your motherfucking name, I ain't talking about you. Period. I'm mad enough to say your name. I promise you I am. I'm mad enough to say your name, man. I promise you I am. A lot of shit I don't say because a lot of shit uh, uh, motherfuckers don't want to talk about it. They just want to think they tough and rough. Nigga, what you want to do? Let's get out of it, man. Fuck to get out, nigga, because if I beat your ass, you're going to go call the police. You know, half of you motherfuckers ain't into, you know, what they call discipline. That's why you got man crushes on niggas. That's why you cheerlead for niggas. That's why you follow niggas. You feel what I'm saying? That's why when a nigga say something you don't like, now you mad at him and you want everybody else to be mad at him. Nigga, if you mad, you be mad, nigga. And ain't for, you can't make me mad at another motherfucker because he said what he wanted to say. Man, y'all motherfuckers better get over this shit, man, for real. For real, for real, for real, man. And again, I'm going to tell y'all one more time. You ain't got to run back and go call none of my club brothers. You ain't got to run back and go call my mama or call queen. Hey, man, said, well, who say I'm talking about? Nigga, if I ain't say your name, I ain't talking about you. So don't worry about who I'm talking about. This just some general shit, man. There's some shit that's going on. You got motherfuckers trying to tell other motherfuckers who they can't have in their club and who they can't have in their club and get rid of this motherfucker and get rid of that motherfucker because you mad, man, please. And any one of you club brothers, sisters, or whatever that take the advice of another motherfucker about your club, brother, you ain't shit either, nigga. Now, again, I now understand, and I'm fine with it. I am totally fine with it. I now understand why a lot of you niggas can't shake my hand when you see me. When I extend my hand and you can't shake my hand or you give me the cold shoulder, I now understand why. Because you niggas got both, you got you niggas got nuts in your hand. You got another nigga nuts in your hand, and you ain't you can't you can't shake my hand because you got both of your hands full of nuts. Another nigga nuts. You ain't even got your own. It, it, it would even be cool if you had your own nuts, but you got another nigga nuts in your hand. And now I know why a lot of you niggas can't speak to me. You can't speak to me because you got another nigga dick in your mouth, a whole dick in your mouth. Good Lord have mercy, man. All this time, I've been wandering around trying to figure out why people don't speak to self. And why these niggas mad at me, man? What the fuck going on, man? I ain't, I ain't done nothing to this nigga, man. This nigga, oh, he mad at me because another motherfucker mad at me, man. Oh, okay. Oh, he mad at me because another motherfucker told... Oh, okay, my bad. Oh, you got a whole dick in your mouth. Oh, you got another nigga dick in your mouth. Oh, okay, well, shit, just say that. I mean, well, you can't say it, but... Now I know, you know what I'm talking about? You got a whole other nigga dick in your mouth. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, um... <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I... Man, listen. I'm trying my best to keep from crying right now because this shit is fucking ridiculous. This shit is... You niggas got man crushes on niggas and you and you and and you wanna say that you ain't gay. But you got a whole man crush on a nigga where a nigga can change a nigga can tell you what kind of attitude you supposed to have for the day. A nigga can tell you what you like and don't like and, and that's alright with you. Nigga use a bitch. A nigga can tell you, hey man, don't fuck with sale, man. That nigga sell on some bullshit. But what are you on? Man, it's just some bullshit. Just nigga just 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 don't like the nigga. Okay, well, what did he do to you? Oh, he just always on some slick shit. Well, what did he say that was slick? Oh, when he said this. Oh, I heard him say that, but I didn't hear him say nobody's name. So, I mean, what? You think he was talking about you? No, no, he wasn't talking about me, but I'm just saying he was on some slick shit. No, nigga, you on some bitch shit. You on some hoe shit. You on some, 
you think you're more important than what you is and they got to talk about you shit and a nigga ain't even got to talk about you because you totally motherfucking irrelevant. Yeah, that part. So just take the dick, put it back in your mouth and be quiet. So I'm telling you, I'm not even tripping no more. When a nigga see me and don't speak, oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. Don't let it slip out. My bad. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going to go on down the street. Man, please. I'm not saying it's not about an issue of me being from the West. It's not about an issue that I care about the shit, but I got to speak on the shit. I got to speak on the shit because understand this. Now that I know, and I'm telling you, hopefully now we can all get an understanding of what the fuck it is. So when you see it, oh shit, Big Cell told me what it was. Because understand this. Each one of us got a job. If you learn something new, as your brother, as your friend, as the person that want to see me do better, I want to see you do better, then it's your job. It's your motherfucking job to tell me whatever the fuck it is. Period. See, this is the thing. When you, when you have that word brother, 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 sister, 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 well, how the fuck is you my brother and you know some shit that can make me a better person, but you don't share that shit with me? Huh? How in the fuck am I your brother and I know some shit and, and this this some old shit we gotta stop. Nigga, don't bring me no story unless you can give me the matter of fact, if you can't give me the characters first. So in other words, when you walk up to me, what you gotta do is say, hey Sal, uh so and so and so and so and so and so is involved. Now this is the story. If you can't tell me all of the motherfucking characters involved in the motherfucking story, fuck you. And fuck your story. Period. Fuck you and fuck your story. We gonna get away from that. What I heard, or what a homie said this, or or man, it ain't really my business. No, nigga, it is. Your, if if you felt good enough to bring it to me, then you felt like good enough. It was more than enough. It was your business. So nigga, tell me the whole motherfucking story, all the characters involved. Well, I mean, I really don't want to get in the middle of the shit. Well, nigga, stay your punk ass off the side of it, off the top of it, off the bottom of it. Stay your ass from around it then. Yeah, stay your ass from all the way from around it. If you can't, if you don't want to get involved, you don't want to be in the middle, then stay your motherfucking ass all the way from around it. Period. Yeah. Fuck the... Fuck the why they feel so comfortable telling you shit. We 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 not even gonna get into that. What I'm telling you is this, man. We we gonna say it like this. The shit that's going on on this motorcycle set, man, with everybody wanting to know everybody else's business. Let me let me tell you something. It's a lot of you motherfuckers on here that I know. What up with it, hot rod? It's a lot of you motherfuckers on here that I know. Okay, and I love you, nigga, and we'll go to war for you, go to bat for you. And I don't even know your full name or which what it is that you do for a living and don't give a fuck. All I know is that when I see you, nigga, and you see me, nigga, we treat each other with respect, we love each other, we have a good time, nigga, and, it, and it's vice versa. So I don't need to know all of your business, nigga, like I'm dating you or like I want to fucking court you. I ain't got no man crush on you, nigga, to want to know all your business. Yeah. I ain't got no man crush on you to want to know all your business, nigga. And quit, and that's another thing. Quit asking, quit motherfucking asking me about, hey man, is that all that Savage do? Is that all that Savage do? Savage only got a restaurant. He do some other shit too, don't he? Nigga, I am not Savage. I don't know what the fuck Savage do. Oh, shit. And don't care about what the fuck Savage do. I don't know what the fuck I just ran over. I hope that shit don't flatten my motherfucking tires. Anyway, and don't care about what the fuck Savage do. As long as he keep making them motherfucking oxtails and that goddamn jerk chicken, he all right with me. Anything other than that, then fuck Savage. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck Michael Corleone. Anything other than that goddamn, them goddamn oxtails, you feel what I'm saying? And them goddamn, and that goddamn jerk and that goddamn cabbage, fuck Savage. Nigga, not mean that, nigga. Period. Love you to death, homie. Truly, I do. But you get your motherfucking ass away from that kitchen with that shit, I'm going to bust your motherfucking ass. We're going to get out, nigga. Period. So, 
again, man, I love you. Every nigga on this motherfucker right now, nigga, I love you. I care about you for real. Whether I say it or not, whether I call you every day or whether I don't, man, I'm, damn it, I'm trying to, whew, I'm trying to keep from getting emotional about this shit. But let, let me tell you something. So, the end of the day, I want y'all to learn a lesson. I just learned this lesson and I want to share this with y'all. Man crush is some serious shit. That's the new word. Man crush. Niggas, niggas got man crushes on, on motherfuckers, man. To the point to where as a nigga want a, let, let me tell you something. It ain't nothing, nobody, it ain't nothing, even, it ain't nothing on this motherfucker that nobody doing that I won't congratulate you for doing. I don't give a fuck if it's illegal or illegal, nigga, if you having your motherfucking bread, if you living your motherfucking dream, if you riding your motherfucking motorcycle, if you fucking eight or nine bitches, if you married one of the baddest bitches or one of the baddest niggas or whatever the fuck you doing, Nigga, I'm gonna reach out and shake your hand and congratulate you, nigga, because you know what? That's your motherfucking business. Period. And ain't that nigga on here or that nigga that I know that has, that got so much in life going on that I do not want to shake his hand and congratulate him. It ain't that motherfucker. It ain't that motherfucker. It just ain't. Anyway, let me calm down. So. Listen, when you see a motherfucker, man, reach out and shake his hand, man. Give a nigga a hug, man. Let a nigga know. Ladies, when I see you, say hi. If I'm with Queen, speak. Hey, what up, Sal? What's going on? Hey, boo, what's that? Blah, blah, blah. My niggas, when I see you, what happened when I'm going to shake your hands, give you a dap on the back, keep it pushing, man. You feel what I'm saying? I love you. Truly, I do. But, all that old not speaking to motherfuckers. All that old not speaking to motherfuckers because another motherfucker told you he ain't shit. Or another motherfucker told you how you should feel about a motherfucker. We're going to stop that. But at least I now know what it is, man. And if you just joined on here, what we're talking about, man crushes. What I learned today was from a man, from one of my OGs, I had a conversation. He said, sell. The reason why motherfuckers don't shake your hand is because they can't shake your hand because they got their hand, both of their hands, full of another nigga nuts. How nigga gonna shake your hand and he got both of his hands full of another nigga nuts? He holding another nigga nuts so, so, so tight and so precious, he not finna lay them down to shake your motherfucking hand, homie. And a nigga don't speak to you, a nigga that don't speak to you. Don't speak to you because he got a mouth full of dick. He got the nigga dick in his mouth. He can't speak. So that's why when he see you, he just, he just give you the little meme or look or whatever the fucking look he give you. Let me tell you something, man. If a nigga ain't done nothing to you personally, I don't give a fuck if you if y'all try to do business together, the business went bad. I don't give a fuck if you told him not to fuck with your sister and he fucked your sister or your auntie or that's that's, that's life it take two people to fuck so if a nigga if, if, if you brought your auntie to the clubhouse or your sister to the clubhouse or your cousin to the clubhouse and she's so precious to you and now you mad because one of your club brothers or another nigga that fucked her and, you, and he ain't shit but he, he got her to believe he was shit enough to get the pussy and now you mad at the club brother no nigga you can't do that if you want to protect her then you keep her ass away from everything and everybody. Anything that you love, why you think I don't let my mama come around the set all the time? She, everyone, all of you niggas that's on here, y'all come to the house. Y'all come, you, you around what I love. My nigga, my mom and my dad and my wife. You around what I love. You in my house. When you call me, most of you niggas, when you call me and you in Atlanta, man, come on to the house. I invite you to my house, nigga, because I love you. And I feel like the love should be mutual. That was, so now, a, a couple of slimy niggas have slid in there and been to the house that I wish hadn't been to my house. It is what it is. Lesson learned. No, no hard feelings. I ain't mad. At all, man. I ain't mad at all, man. I'm just telling you some real shit. Niggas can't shake your hand because they got both. 
They got both set. They got both the, another nigga nuts in their hand, man. Hey, man. Anyway. I'm going. I love y'all, man. I just had to get this shit done. Listen, man. Another motherfucker can't tell you what to do with one of your club members. They can't do it. They can't do it. Another motherfucker can't push the line on you to push the line on somebody else. If you're not mad enough to get out and fight, then how can another motherfucker make you? You look stupid. You fighting another motherfucker because another motherfucker told you you need to be fighting him. If a motherfucker ain't made you mad enough to get out, then don't get out. Period. Because you're going to fuck around and try to get out and get your punk ass knocked down. Because you wasn't mad enough no way. Because let me tell you something. And I love every last one of you motherfuckers on here right now to death. I do. But when I'm ready to go, when I say I'm ready to go, I'm gone. There ain't nothing y'all gonna be able to say about it. You're not gonna be able to stop me from killing this nigga. You're not gonna be able to stop me from getting down. When I'm ready to get out, I'm getting down. When I'm ready to go, I'm going. With your permission or without your permission. And if you get in the motherfucking way, you can get gone too. It's just that simple. So don't worry about sell, sell straight, man. You ain't got to call me and tell me about what I need to do to this nigga or how I need to feel about this nigga because, dude, I'm straight. You niggas don't know me. Most of you motherfuckers that speaking on sale in a negative way, you don't know me. Nigga, you niggas couldn't be me if, you, if, if, I, if I let you try to be me, you couldn't be me. Huh? I'm going to go, man. I love y'all. Shit. Peace.